our Heavenly Father, Creator of all things. Father, you are holy, righteous, glorious, and almighty. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hello everyone, Glenda Coker here, spiritual name Gloria, Sister G, um, from www.praiseandprayer.org. I'm coming to you from another location here other than my office. It's a bigger space here, um, so I'm doing the show um, this week uh, from that location. Um, And I hope that I am coming to you loud and clear. Um, Thank you all for tuning in. Those of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate every last one of you. Uh, Go ahead and share the show, share the show. I also want you to check out the website www.praiseandprayer.org www.praiseandprayer.org There, um, let's see, it's a one-page beautiful site inspired um, um, by God um, that I put up there. Um, You can, um, there's a prayer there, you can pray along. Um, with me, with that prayer, there is a, a player embedded. So go ahead and listen to that prayer and be in agreement and receive your blessings right there. Um, there is music there. Scroll down. Um, and you can play that simultaneously as the prayer is being played. And um, let's see what else. Um, you can submit A prayer request right there or any questions or comments, there's a box right there to submit that. Um, Also, my email address is worship, worship at praiseandprayer.org. Again, that is worship at praiseandprayer.org. Let's see what else is on that side. Oh, accept or rededicate yourself. Um, Dedicate or rededicate yourself. Um, right there on that site, there is a salvation prayer right there. Um, and also visiting for visiting the site and, um, or, um, dedicating, um, or rededicating yourself. There's a free PDF book there for everyone, everyone who just comes to, um, the site. Check it out. Check it out. It's free. Download it. It's PDF. Download it on any device that you're on. And enjoy that um, book right there. Um, Let's see. Also, come back uh, seven days a week, every single day. There is a scripture right there, daily scripture that comes out every day. Um, Scroll to the bottom and you'll be able to read a new scripture every single day. So that is that site. Um, I also want you to check out um, www.glendacoker.com. That is G-L-E-N-D-A-C-O-K-E-R, glendacoker.com. Check that site out. All my contact information is there. If you want to, there's a phone number there. You want to call. You want to leave a message. Um email address, everything right there, contact information um, near the bottom, I believe. Um, Also, um, there are social media icons up at the top left. Uh, Follow me on any of those social media um, sites. Follow me and I will be sure to follow, follow you back. I'm also on that site, so this is several pages, um, Site and it's not just a one page site. Um, there are books, there's t shirts, there's if you need to uh, purchase a Bible, um, there's a link down there, a picture of a Bible down there. Scroll down, um, music if you want to purchase any music, um, CDs, anything. There are links uh, for that um, on that 
site. Um, also, um, wherever you're listening at, I'm also on different platforms there. Um, I do blog talk radio from time to time. Um, you may be on Spreaker right now. Um, it's where the, the um, show um, mainly streams from. And then it goes out to iHeart, iTunes, um, um, a number of other um, SoundCloud, um, Stitcher, a number of other sites there. But uh, wherever you're listening at, I may post on Facebook or Twitter as well. Um, just come back every single week and um, just listen, listen in. And at any time, if any of you feel free, if you want to start your own show, feel uh, free to do that. Uh, whatever platform you choose, they're usually self-explanatory. So feel free to start your show on anything or any hobby or anything that... Um, you would like. Um, and if you have any questions, be sure um, you can always contact me. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I will try my best to get that answer for you. Um, but most of those sites, those platforms, um, Spreaker, Lisbon, Blog Talk Radio, and so forth, um, most of them are self explanatory. But um, just feel free. Just feel free. I've been here doing um, shows for, I don't know, a couple years, uh, four, five, six years or so. Um, I think Blog Talk Radio says I've been on, um, I don't know, is it um, seven years or something like that. But um, when I first um, signed in to Blog Talk Radio, um, signed up, I didn't do any shows for about a year or so. So I don't know, maybe I've been on for about, I don't know, five years or so forth doing shows. I don't know, but I started out just doing strictly motivation and like late 2015, uh, when I officially, officially dedicated my life to Jesus, um, I just started doing shows about Jesus, about the heavenly father, Holy spirit, just reading the Bible and just discussing um, the Bible. God is so, so great. So here I am today. Um, I don't think I have any of those motivational um, 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 shows up. Um, but just um, strictly just talking about God and everything is just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. And just, you know... We're brothers and sisters here. We're helping each other and um, back and forth and online, offline. Um, I, I have articles also where I just write. So check it out. I write from time to time. Um, a lot of my articles, I don't know, I have maybe, I don't know, close to 200 or over two, something like that. Um, but a lot of my articles, when I first started um, doing things online and working online, um, a lot of my articles are um, network marketing articles and things like that. I never took those articles down. So if you go on that site, um, just feel free and you can just scroll, 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 probably to my first article, which was so, so many years ago. So I have a lot of articles, um, network marketing articles as well. So um, check that site out, GlendaCoker.com, and um, check my writings out um, as well, uh, we have been discussing, we have been um, just reading about different accounts in the Bible. And this week, I want you to get your Bibles, and I'm going to talk about the first miracle in the Bible um, um, that the Bible speaks about with Jesus turning water into wine, and that's John chapter. Um, two, and I'm going to be um, let the narrator read from the King James Version and also the message. And I want you to tune in also next week. You can study. I'm going to be reading John chapter 11, um, where Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead. So um, you can do your reading and everything before next week if you like. And um, right now, we are going to be reading, I will let um, the King James Version read um, about Jesus at the wedding. And um, he, he's going to turn the water into wine. Hallelujah. Amen. So let me pull that up for you. And 
This is the King James Version right here, and I hope that it will come in loud and clear uh, for us. Hold on one, one, one second. Chapter 2 And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called, and his disciples, to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changers of money sitting. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them. And they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Okay, okay, okay. Also, um, in chapter 2, I didn't mention, um, Jesus clears the temple courts um, when they're trying to sell things and everything. And um, John chapter 2 speaks of this also. Um, I will be um, discussing this um, right after I am pulling up the message here for you. Um, the message version, and I want to play that as well, um, and then we are going to um, speak about this. Um, here we are now with the message. Let's see. Um, right now. From water to wine. Chapter 2. Three days later, there was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Jesus and his disciples were guests also. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Jesus' mother told him, They're just about out of wine. Jesus said, Is that any of our business, mother, yours or mine? This isn't my time. Don't push me. She went ahead anyway, telling the servants, Whatever he tells you, do it. Six stoneware water pots were there, used by the Jews for ritual washings. Each held twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus ordered the servants, Fill the pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. Now fill your pitchers and take them to the host, Jesus said. And they did. When the host tasted the water that had become wine, he didn't know what had just happened, but the servants, of course, knew. He called out to the bridegroom, 
Everybody I know begins with 